In a small German workshop, a man worked through nights that smelled of oil and rain. Nicholas Otto believed motion could have a heartbeat, that fire itself could be taught to breathe. While the world still trusted steam, he built a new kind of power, metal shaped by patience, gears tuned like music. Each failure left burns on his hands, but also clues inside the smoke. He saw a pattern in the chaos, intake, compression, power, exhaust, the rhythm of motion itself. And when the piston finally moved, when the engine roared to life for the first time, the walls trembled as history found its voice. Factories awakened, wagons rolled without horses, and distance began to disappear. But as his idea spread, others took the credit. His name faded into footnotes, his workshop fell silent. Still, every car, every plane, every hum of modern life carries his spark. A single cycle of air and fire, still breathing more than a century later. The world moves because once, Nikolaus Otto made motion alive.